Hello, I'm Tracy Grimshaw. Welcome to A Current Affair. A number of positive cases in Sydney hospitals has put them on high alert with strict visitor restrictions in place. But the blanket rule is leaving many patients isolated from loved ones when they need them the most. Maddie is a midwife who's faced her own struggles this week. So to not know exactly how he's doing is really stressful. Really stressful, <laughs> yeah. Denied visiting rights to tend to her hubby, Ant, who's enduring a slow recovery from a brain injury. He was involved in a horrific car accident days after the couple learned Maddie was pregnant. I can't tell you how many times I've cried. Yeah. Daily. Like. <laughs> Maddie's bedside vigil at Westmead Hospital was ended last Tuesday by the tough new COVID restrictions. Any family member of you know these patients within brain injury unit rehabilitations they would all tell you the same thing that um you know they play a massive role in the rehabilitation process today the same hospital confirmed a staff member had tested positive to covid-19 because she wasn't able to connect a current affair reached out to the new south wales health and, minister uh, and maddie's uh, local uh, hawkesbury uh, mp uh, robin preston uh, Special care and special treatment is, is crucial to um, patients' recovery, and Maddie was that medicine that he needed. Hiya, Maddie. <laughs> Two hours after this conversation, Maddie received a reprieve. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I got approval to see Ant. <laughs> the last thing we want to do is exploit our loved ones um, and have to go and share like all your story just so you can see them and get the approval that you know is deserved is, um, yeah, a bit frustrating. Maddie's situation and Anthony's situation was taken on merit rather than a blanket one-size-fits-all rejection. So are you preparing now for a, a lot more calls coming to your office <laughs> seeking help from yourself? Well, look, we got a great outcome with Maddie and Anthony. Um, I'm happy to represent uh, any constituent that comes forward and needs my help. That's my job. That's what I'm there to do, to advocate for my people.